This animation clarifies some of the misconceptions around seismic surveys. Sound from seismic arrays only occurs approximately every 10 seconds and lasts just a tenth of a second, which means sound is only produced for 1% of the entire survey period. The sound energy level quickly dissipates over distance. While a given permitted area may be vast, the actual survey activity area is quite small. For example, on the U.S. Atlantic coast, the potential survey area has been estimated as 500,000 square miles, which may seem like a large area, but when compared to the entire Atlantic Ocean, is a very small fraction. Of this, the area that is likely to be surveyed is even smaller, and when compared to the Atlantic Ocean, is equivalent to the size of a football on an entire field. There is a relatively small number of seismic survey vessels in the world, and this is a vanishingly small number when compared with the thousands of fishing vessels, military, commercial shipping, and recreational vessels, all producing considerable noise from engines, navigational sonars, and other equipment. These vessels frequently operate at speeds of 11 to 23 miles per hour, as opposed to 6 miles per hour for survey vessels. This means that seismic vessels pose little or no risk of collision with right whales, unlike commercial shipping and fishing activities, which are the major sources of injury and mortality of marine mammals. Marine mammals are at the top of the ocean food chain and are very sparsely distributed. It is not unusual to go for many hours or even days without sighting a single marine mammal. If they avoid the sound source, which many do, then the potential for them to come within range of the sound source is even more unlikely. In the event that whales do approach, within 500 meters, visual observers and acoustic monitoring are used to inform decisions to stop sound production until they are at a safe distance. The sound generated during the survey is not continuous as operations will stop for routine maintenance, adverse weather conditions, and for mitigation measures to minimize sound exposure of marine life. These stoppages result in a general downtime of between 20 to 30 percent. This downtime, coupled with the short one-tenth second pulses, which are emitted every 10 seconds, results in a total of only about 15 hours of sound production over a three-month period of a typical survey. Over the length of this video, the total duration of sound that would have been produced equates to only two seconds. In areas where extensive seismic surveys have been undertaken for several years, Marine mammal populations continue to thrive. On the rare occasions when marine mammals cross paths with a seismic vessel, the sound they are exposed to is temporary and transitory with no significant impacts. While the likelihood and level of sound exposure from seismic surveys has been greatly exaggerated, our industry remains committed to careful monitoring of the environment and supports research to shed additional light on the potential, however remote, that our activities may have any as yet undetected effect on the marine environment.